I've never felt so fucking defeated in my whole entire life. Every single second of the day just seems to get worse. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you why this has been the worst travel experience of my life and it has basically been my biggest travel nightmare and the biggest travel nightmare that I could have thought of before I left and I did think about but never thought would ever happen. So basically what happened was two nights ago, I come back from like a long day of just like walking around and looking at all of Barcelona because that is obviously what is in the background right now and literally took out all my clothes, everything like that, packed everything, got everything ready because I was heading to Paris the very next morning. And I went and had a shower, I came back, and I just like had everything ready. Like I was so set, I literally was like in the clothes that I was gonna wear the next morning because I was leaving at like 5 a.m. And this is a little precursor. The luggage goes in these like metal crates that go under the beds, like they slip under the beds. And as soon as I, put my stuff in there, I jumped up into my bed, was on my laptop, didn't think anything of it, like obviously. And I, after a couple hours, decided that, you know, I'm gonna grab a snack, because I had a snack bag in my locker. So I opened up my curtain and I looked down and I saw that my little like water, I don't even know what it's called, like a water cover for my backpack was on the ground. And I was like, oh, that's weird. But maybe it fell out of the pocket because it was in my side pocket of my backpack. And so I was like, okay, that's weird. Pulled out my crate, opened, like immediately saw that my snack bag had been like kind of moved or tampered. And I was like, I don't remember putting it like that. So then I still didn't think anything really of it. Pulled out the crate, noticed that my backpack was gone. Like my backpack that contained all of my cameras, all of my camera equipment, a uh, brand new tripod that I had just bought, microphones, a custom made freaking camera strap that I cherished with my whole entire life that Tessa got for me. I had so many things in there that actually just meant so much. I had a freaking little sequence chip that you might think is stupid. And if you don't know what sequence is, it is a little board game, but a sequence chip in there that meant the whole entire world to me as well. And that obviously isn't a big deal, but it's like the little, little things and really just like so many sentimental things in there. Like I had all this film that I had already shot in rolls of and I needed to get developed and that was in there. Um, plus it had my passport, my SIN card, care card, literally everything that you could ever need and imagine and everything to take my identity, ev literally everything. There's like $7,000 worth of stuff in it. All of it was gone. I immediately freaked out, like lost my fucking mind. I freaked out and tank heart dropped, literally just was losing my mind and immediately um, looked everywhere, like within the room, but obviously wanted to respect other people's privacy and other people's property. And so I like ran downstairs, grabbed a security guard, took them up to my room and I was like, let's look through everyone's things. And of course other people had their things locked so we couldn't necessarily get in them, but I pulled each crate out, looked at everyone's um, stuff to see. My bag wasn't in any of them. And then detective me just came out and I was like, we gotta like do something. I was like, let's check the cameras um, coming out of the room. Uh, see who has checked out, if anyone's checked out, if the person under me checked out, literally got some answers, but not enough. I wasn't allowed to look at the footage. They wouldn't give me the names of anyone. So I had to go to the police office, file a police report. It was like 11 o'clock at night by this time, or maybe like 10, 1030, 1045, something like that. And they're like, yeah, just like go down to the police station. So I'm like, okay. So it's me walking through the streets of Barcelona alone, um, heading down the street and walked down to the first police station. Obviously I was like a little scared, a little frightened when I first got there and my heart was just racing due to like what had happened. But also again, like I said, roaming the streets by myself and I get there and they're like, sorry, we're too busy. We can't really help you right now. Um, go to the next one. I was freaking out by this point, freaking out, and there was terrifying. And I get to this police station, tell them what had happened, and he's like, okay, you gotta 
fill out a police report, whatever. They didn't seem too urgent. Like literally one of the people in the office was watching TikToks. I could just hear them. And it was all the classic sounds of TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, like this is not gonna go anywhere. And fill out the whole entire police report, gave evidence or like proof of like what was in the bag, how much everything costed, everything like that. And by the end of it, they, <laughs> so freaking ridiculous but he's like here you go here's your copy um of the police report so i was like perfect thanks like what do we do next and he's like oh like basically all that this was was a form where you just had to fill it out so we have it so if somebody turns the bag in then we will call you and i was like are you fucking kidding me if somebody turns the bag in then you'll call me and of course, I was like, nobody's ever gonna turn that bag in. In a million years, the people that did it obviously are gonna either like get rid of things or try and sell them off. And the bag is never gonna show up here. So I was like, this is absolutely pointless. So I was like, I gotta take matters into my own hands. Um, left the police station, got lost, freaked out, didn't know where to go. Um, literally was in mad dash panic mode. Cause by this time it's like 1230 at night and I'm roaming the streets all by myself in a country I've never been to in my life. Don't, like a lot of people don't speak English. So essentially like where I stand right now is I am waiting for a temporary passport which allows me to go to my next place of travel. And with that, I had to have full proof of travel. So I've already had my flight booked to Bali. I already have all that stuff planned out, settled for the 24th, but I also had to book um, my next bit which is going to be just from Barcelona to Berlin and that was like what I had to do I had to cancel all my other travel I unfortunately still pay the full cost for all of my stays because I couldn't get that refunded um, also on top of all of this not only did all of my stuff get stolen but I also had to pay like four hundred and fifteen dollars four hundred and fifteen dollars for my brand new passport, which is so stupid, like so ridiculous. And there's nothing that I could do about it. And I had to book my my next leg from here to Berlin on a whim. So it was way more expensive. And basically with this whole entire situation, I am out like, I don't even know what it is, like probably $650 or something like that after everything. Plus obviously losing my camera bag, which is like $7,000 worth. So basically my moral of the story um, to the person that stole my stuff is fuck you. Like from the bottom, bottom of my heart, fuck you with everything I have. Um, and also for anyone that is like debating on doing something like this to someone or is like, oh, like that would be like, what a good score. Never do it because it actually like disrupts somebody's livelihood and it's caused me so much um, stress, obviously anxiety. Also, I'm just like the most weary person right now. Like as I, like weary and uneasy, I guess, because as I stand here and even like as I make this, all I'm doing is scouring every last place, looking for like my camera strap, looking for my camera bag. I have been like, oh my God, a bird almost just hit me. I've been like the craziest person when it comes to my eyes lately because I'm just like scouring everywhere, just like waiting to see my stuff show up. And unfortunately, I'm not like overly confident that I will because I'm sure that person is far, far away right now. But still, it's, it's like the, the worst feeling in the world. And I just know like I, I can't change it. I can't fix it, unfortunately. The cops are zero help and I'm stuck right now until I get that temporary passport. And then obviously it's like somewhat better. Um, but with that, it comes a lot more stress because obviously even like me heading to Bali, it's like, are they going to allow me in without already having like my visa fully booked? And then it's like, well, of course, like I got to think about that, which then in return is like, more money as well and this whole process has just been uh something and again like i said like i've remained super calm like that's one of the things that i am kind of like priding myself on because i know a lot of people in this situation would obviously freak out and lose their mind and of course like in my head like i 
I am from time to time, but I'm also realizing, and I've been told this multiple times as well, um, that like all these things are replaceable. Uh, no matter what comes with them, no matter how stressful it is to figure them out, like all of them are replaceable. And even the passport, it's replaceable. Of course, like this is not what I anticipated on happening or what I thought was gonna happen, especially with this trip, but it is what it is. And um, this is just a story that I obviously get to tell and it's like 15 minutes long. So I am not gonna keep it too much longer, but I, hello. It is just a little frustrating for sure to have this happen. And again, I just like, I hope that you can all just like take something from this and from my story and realize like that travel isn't this big glamorous thing, of course. And also when some things happen and some things go wrong and things almost feel like they're coming to like, basically like the end of the world. It's like, there's always ways to pivot. There's always ways to get out of it. And eventually like this moment and this period is going to end and you are going to be okay. And all of it's going to work its way out and work the way that it's going to go. And if you can't fully control everything in this situation, then just don't fret about it too much. Because right now, of course, like I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm having the best time of my life because absolutely not. I would want nothing more than to leave this place. Unfortunately, I'm stuck here, but I do wanna leave and I wanna leave so bad. Um, but I'm also not freaking out the whole entire time I'm here either because it is what it is and where we're at right now is where we're at and I know that in a couple days I will be off to Berlin and a couple days after that I will be heading to um, to Bali and for now all I can do is keep <laughs> keep picking looking at every last camera there is possible and seeing if it's mine and that's basically where we stand um, but yeah this is my my crazy little story obviously the the worst thing possible and it just feels like time after time I'm just getting defeated on these travels I would be lying again if I said my mental health hasn't taken an absolute toll on this on this trip and if I said that this wasn't a very I would say like not necessarily a negative travel experience, but just um, it's one that I never anticipated on happening and I didn't want to have happen. And going into the travels, I thought it was going to go a totally different way. But again, there's some things that you just can't control. Jacob basically told me this one thing which stuck with me and I think it is the best way to look at this whole entire situation. And he said, this situation happened to you for a reason. And the reason being is obviously not that you needed to necessarily learn anything from it, but rather that this might actually be a learning curve for those people. And he said they needed to get away with something like this so that they would get maybe more confident or try it again and get caught the next time. So just know that this is a process that of course is going to help someone else in the end and I love looking at it that way because I definitely wasn't at the start <clears throat> I was more so asking myself like why is this happening to me and really like he said it's happening to me because the universe or whoever knew that I could handle it and overcome it and look at it in a positive light so I am very very not grateful for this, but kind of grateful for this. And I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope that, um, yeah, I hope that it was enter entertaining for you or that this is a little entertaining. And obviously if you have any questions about it or anything, always happy to share it. But I, uh, yeah, it's tough. But anyways, that's my story. So hope you enjoyed it. And here's Barcelona, the beautiful, the beautiful Barcelona that's gonna stick in my brain for the rest of my life. So anyways, I freaking love you. Okay, so since I need a backpack, I've been looking around everywhere and look at what I just saw. Are you kidding me? What are the odds that that just happened because I've been looking everywhere in all these different places and then all of a sudden the one place that I uh, look up and find that has backpacks is 
that one. So I think that's a pretty good sign that this is where I'm gonna buy my backpack. 